do people who are having an affair do? <laughs> <laughs> like, do they, do they break lockdown? Not that I'm trying to or want to or anything like that. I'm, I'm massively happily married. But it just strikes me. Is this been a period where, like, people who've been having an affair have been caught out because they've been going out of the house like unexpectedly and or is it a time where people who've been having an affair have just had to give up the affair because because the they can't see the other person I, it just it's just something i wondered so if anyone's having an affair that's listening to the show write in and let us know yeah we, we, we won't use your names honest <laughs> And we'll put it in the feedback and shout outs next <laughs> I did see somebody ask, say what do you, you know, do these people that have got like two families do, as in, yeah, having yeah. Sort of gone beyond having an affair. Double lives. Yeah, you can't live a double life, can you, under lockdown? Well, Not there, easily. there was a story on the BBC today that there's been a massive increase in the arrests for drug offences because drug dealers are still out. And they're much more noticeable nowadays because there's less people about. Yeah. So apparently the number of arrests for drug offences has gone gone through the roof because, you know. <laughs> Actually, if you, I've noticed if you want a kids funny... smoking weed have, have gone from the park behind us to, like, the fields behind the field behind the park because, <laughs> because the police will go through the park to see if there's people not socially distancing or whatever. And th- these yeah, kids yeah. don't. These, like... I don't know, 18, 17, 18 year olds all wearing black jackets, even though it's beautiful sunshine. <laughs> yeah. The, um, the, the Hunterside Police's Facebook is brilliant. They use the best hashtags, but that's got quite a lot about, yeah, stopping people who were socially distancing and things um, and finding that they were wanted for five burglaries or something. <laughs> Not a good time for affairs or crime. I was going to say, who, won't somebody think of the criminals, honestly? Um, yeah. Well, anyone who does want to get in touch with us to tell us about their affairs and how they're managing to keep them going. Sarah, do you want to tell tell people how they can do that and also um, where they can find the show? I, I'd, I'd rather not, actually, because I've already closed everything down. So Have I mean, you I closed it down, up. Alan, or do you want me to do it? No, no, I'm, I'm, I'm happy to. Um, so you can find the show at uh, at Super League Pod on Twitter and Instagram. It's facebook.com slash Super League Pod. If you want to send us an email about your fares, honestly, your names will be redacted. It's superleaguepod at gmail.com. Uh, you can find episode blog posts on the website at superleaguepod.com. Search for the show on Spreaker, Apple Podcasts, Google Podcasts, Podcast Addict, Stitcher, and anywhere else you find your good podcasts. And we're also on the YouTubes. Yeah, big thanks to our partners, Rob's Toy Shop, and to SLP Discount on checkout at Rob's Toy Shop on, on eBay. Get 5% cash back on orders over £5 plus give one percent cash back to slp little warden vital alerts for hidden issues head to littlewarden.com if you've got a website that you need help running and see what they can do for you mascal browns for all your international rugby league gear if you use the link shown on our episode blog post we get eight percent of your order value uh, and sarah's bookcase sarah sells usborne books to li- hand delivered by bicycle with access if you live in hull with access to over three thousand titles from baby to teenager there's something for everyone find out more on the facebook and twitter pages Sarah, do you want to then ad lib the sign off then, seeing as you've uh, closed everything else down? <laughs> um, so, thanks for joining us. Um, keep watching your old rugby league matches and get your reviews into us, and we will be here next week in some capacity reporting on something. I think we'll do, should we do props next week? Oh, position. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, you, not, you don't have to bring not a. Not stage productions. <laughs> Or back to back to Peter's magic again. I was going to say I've got I've got this I've got these old back scenes we can just put in the back back of the shot. It'd be great. Yeah, <laughs> fabulous. Excellent. Thanks, Lee, for joining us. Thanks everyone for listening, and we'll speak to you next week. Bye. See ya. Bye.